Hello friends, in this particular video lecture, we will try to understand the goals of data security. So basically, why we are interested to study the data security? What are the aim behind the data security? They are going to represent with the help of a notation CIA, that is nothing but confidential, integrity, and availability. So we have to study the meaning of everything and the application, respective application, so that we can understand why the data security is necessary and what are the goals of data security. So the first one, that is nothing but confidentiality. It used it preventing the disclosure of information to unauthorized users. This requires implementing the access restriction to protect a personal privacy and priority information. What it means by confidentiality? We require to make our data safe. That means we have to prevent the data. How we can prevent the data? Preventing the disclosure of data by the unauthorized user, that means the third party. So whenever in between the sender and receiver, the third one try to observe the data, try to listen or modify the data, then the first aim of the data security, that is confidentiality, arises. And it requires to implementing the access restriction. What it means by access restriction? That means who can observe the data, who can receive the data. So only who can receive the data? The receiver. The receiver can be one, they can be multiple but they are specified. That means the selection of receiver is depend on the hand of the user. So that the confidentiality developed in such a manner that they will access the restriction to protect the personal privacy and priority information. The information which is having the high priority, for example, if I want to send something regarding the security purpose, then that should be much more confidential. So the term confidentiality is most probably used in the security application. The second one, the confidentiality aspects, that means the meaning or the generation of the confidentiality, refers to limiting the disclosure and access of information to only the people who are authorized, that means the authorized receiver, and preventing those not authorized from accessing it. That means also the confidentiality, it means the receiver should be the authorized person and also we require to prevent the data from those not authorized from accessing it. That means the third party should not be able to authorize our data. Now, in this particular thing, we can also include few terms that are nothing but encryption, access control. So what it means by encryption? To begin with, encryption of the data involves converting the data into a form that can be only understood by the authorized people. As we have already discussed, if I want to send hello and if I'm going to convert it into A, B, C, D, E, then only the authorized receiver is able to decrypt it. So conversion of the encrypt data into the decryption is only accessible to the authorized receiver is nothing but the encryption. So in this case the information is converted into the ciphertext format that can be very difficult to understand. So what is this? This is the plain text that means your input message and the encoded output is nothing but what? Ciphertext. So information is going to convert into a format which cannot be understood by the third party. So ABCDE that doesn't have any meaning. So hello can be decrypted at the authorized receiver side only. So once all the security threats have been dealt with, the information can then be decrypted, which means that the data can be converted back into the original form so that it can be understood. So who is able to decrypt the data? The authorized receiver. So the encryption process can be occurred, encryption and decryption, both can be occurred in between the sender and receiver. Then next one is access control. 
Access control is also the another way of ensuring the confidentiality. How? Because if I want to send you something, then you are only the authorized person who is able to decrypt the data. So again, the confidentiality, that means the security of message is going to increase. So this means that one set of the various policies and standards when accessing the information and the other organization resources. Try to understand there can be one sender at a one time, but there can be the multiple receiver at a one time. So all may be the authorized receiver. So this is nothing but what? Broadcasting of the data. So the big resources organization that can be also the receiver. So how can we then do the access control? The number of the authorized persons or the number of the authorized receivers are able to decrypt the data. This is nothing but what? Giving the access control to the number of users. So in this way, if we are going to provide the access control to a particular user, then only the user who is having the access control to decrypt the data, only that can decrypt it. So this is again, try to provide the highest confidentiality to our message. Now, in the confidentiality, we try to understand the two terms that are nothing but what? Access control and encryption. Now the second part after C, that is after completion of confidentiality, the second goal of the data services is nothing but I, that is integrity. So it is known as the data integrity. It is used for ensuring the accuracy and authenticity of the data. Only authorized person may edit the data and they need to follow the procedure to prevent it. Now. What is the difference between confidentiality and integrity? That we have to understand. Confidentiality means preventing the data, giving access to the authorized user to read the data. Integrity means editing the data. That means giving access to user to modify the data. So it can edit the data authorized person. That means authorized sender, authorized receiver are able to edit, modify the data. And they need to follow the procedure. But before editing any message, if I want to change the message, then I require to follow the procedures. Now, the main application of the data integrity is nothing but the digital signatures and with the which we all are familiar. So digital signatures are the special type of data safety maintenance where a special kind of signature is required to access some particular information. This signature can be in the form of QR code, must be pro properly read so as to access data. Now, we all are familiar with these two terms, digital signature. So every individual person is having its own digital signature. That means the conversion of your signature into the other format, which cannot be accessible. That means that digital signature cannot be used by the third party. And the one who can understand that this is your digital signature, that is nothing but the authorized receiver towards whom you have to send that particular signature. The second one is application which we are going to use in our day-to-day -day life is nothing but the QR code. Nowadays, if I want to pay some money to a person, then I can use the QR code. So in that also, if you are going to observe, then after scanning the QR code, first step is we require to scan the QR code. Scanning means what? We try to capture the image. So that comes under the image compression. So after scanning the QR code, we are getting the name of the authorized user. And so that we can verify it. So this is nothing but what? Again, after that scanning, the username will be there. So that we can confirm that whatever money we try to send with the help of such kind of QR code will be transmitted towards a particular user or not. And this is again the developed due to the purpose of increasing the security. So here we try to edit the data. But still, there are a lot of prevention we try to achieve while transferring a data or, or while doing a communication. So the integrity is the second goal of the 
data security. How? Because it will give us accuracy. That means, yes, we are able to send the money to the correct person. How? We can verify it. First, with the help of an individual QR code. The two different persons cannot use the same QR code. QR code is individual for every person. Like our identity is individual for individual person. So QR code is completely different for the different persons. And also after that, authenticity. Authenticity means what? Verification whether the user is authorized or not. So that once we will scan the accuracy, with the help of accuracy, we will scan the QR code. Then the authentication can also take place in the integrity. So this is nothing but what? Accuracy plus authenticity of the data is nothing but the data integrity. So after the confidentiality, what is the second aim of the data security? Confidentiality, yes, it is going to provide us the security while transmission of the data by making your data more secure so that it cannot be visible to the third person. Integrity will provide you accuracy and authentication of the data. Now, in the integrity itself, the next one is hashing. Hashing means what? It is a kind of cryptographic science that involves conversion of data in a manner that it is very impossible to invert. Now, why it is very impossible to invert? Because hash is one kind of algorithm which we have studied already in the previous lecture that will use no key to encrypt or to decrypt the data. That is nothing but what? One-way communication. So, user will itself encrypt the data and will try to send to the receiver so this is nothing but sender these are nothing but what receiver the receiver may be one may be multiple so they are not allowed to decrypt the data the fixed data you are going to transmit so this is nothing but what hash algorithm and hence it is very impossible to convert or invert the data why because data is fixed and also it is a one-way communication so this is mainly done when one is storing the data in some storage device so that an individual who gains access to it cannot change it and cause some alteration. Now, if I am the authorized user to observe this particular data sent by the sender with the help of hashing, then also I am not able to modify the data though I know the data and now if I want to modify the data so that I can make the insecure communication then also I am not able to do it that means the third much more precaution is taken over here though the receiver is authorized then also he or she is not able to modify the, the data which is in their hand so this is also the security increment or the enhancement of the security with the help of the data security goals. Next one is certificates. These are the special type of user credentials that are required so as to gain access to the some particular information. In this case, an individual without such certificates cannot access the piece of information. These certificates tend to guarantee some permission or rights. Many times you require to provide your identity so that the sender will try to provide you the next information in the next web page. And we are familiar with this. What is this? Providing the security of the data to the authorized user. And for that purpose, you require to gain or access the right copyright. So if your login information is correct, then only you will become the authorized person to access or to gain the information. So this will provide with the help of the certificates. So again, to provide the huge integrity to your data, the certificates plays an important role. So after the confidentiality and integrity of the data, the third aim is what? Availability. So data availability is the third data security goal. So what it means by availability? Authorized users should have reliable access to information when they need it. Indirectly, the users who are the authorized receiver, they should able to access the information when they need that is availability of the data when I need it.
द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अवेबिलिटी रेफर्स टू द अप टाइप मेंटेनेंस ऑफ ऑल रिसोर्सेस एंड हार्डवेयर दिस मीन्स दैट ऑल द हार्डवेयर एंड रिसोर्सेस वन हैव आर फंक्शनल ऑल द टाइम इफ आई वॉन्ट द डेटा अवेबिलिटी फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर अवर्स देन द रिसोर्सेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ विच आई ट्राई टू गेन द डेटा दैट शुड बी फंक्शनल एट ऑल टाइम सो इट विल बी डिपेंड ऑन यूजर फॉर हाउ मच टाइम और फॉर वेन दे रिक्वायर द अवेबिलिटी ऑफ द डेटा so the data security goals are based on the availability of the data now if i want to transmit the data but if data is not in my hand then how can i do that so this is the question and hence the concept availability arises so there are three main basic concepts of the data security goals which are known as confidentiality integrity and availability so what are the application of the data goals where we can use this all concept as we have already discussed qr code scanning at every shop or the web page browsing with the help of the internet copyright for a particular page these are nothing but what applications of the data security along with that safety locks lightning and cctv these are also the applications of the data security that means nowadays we are going to use data security goals specially for such kind of applications so also we can add the day to day life applications in this particular list and hence we are going to use cia that is confidentiality integrity and availability with the help of data security thank you